Well, good evening, everybody. This is Puff Tasha. I might as well just say my real name is Tasha. Um, most of my friends call me Puff because I'm, uh, I can't hang with the big dogs when it comes to drinking. <laughs> That's how I got that nickname a long, 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 long time ago. But anyways, good evening, everybody. This is my third video making for, uh, me and the babies. Tonight, they are going to have a protein of bacon. I don't think my dogs have ever had a lot of bacon, especially the new baby. He doesn't really get bacon that much, so I thought I'd give him a treat tonight. I'm going to cook up this pound of bacon and use it for a couple of different things. And if there's any left, maybe tomorrow uh, I will uh, use it again. But check out, uh, I found out last night with the uh, bow tie pasta, too big for Reese. She, she just will not eat them unless I hold each bow tie in my hand and she eat it. So what I decided to do is that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grind them up. And uh, so I just wanted to come on real quick, just getting started. I think you guys are awesome. I'll be back. Hi. Okay, so the uh, bacon is all done. I'm going to put some of it in. Like you said, they don't really get bacon that much. This will be a really big treat for the beast. It's almost done. I'm going to put some brown sugar, a few pieces for me. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bacon and I'm going to grind it up with these uh, bow tie noodles. And then I'll cook all of that in the water when I'm cooking the noodles. I bet you that'll be banging for the babies. I'll be back. Hi, everybody. I'm back. So look at, look what I made. Bacon with brown sugar on it. Banging. And I've been snacking on it. I don't know if my dog's going to get me. <laughs> no, I'll put some on top of their dinner, really. But, my sons, they love my, my bacon. But what I did find is I have this uh, barbecue chicken bread, uh, chicken, chicken, what do you call them? Chicken wings? No. Chicken thighs? <laughs> Jeez, man. And, um, I'm going to put it in the dry pasta. And we'll grind it all together. And I'm going to cook this pasta. The ground up chicken pasta. With the elbow, with the bow ties. This right here is, um, lasagna pasta i took lasagna because we really didn't have any pasta and i uh ground it up in the my in the uh, grinder in the ninja i'm gonna add that too and that should be enough pasta for tonight but hold on i'm gonna grind this up it should be cool okay so i um i put it on pulse Ooh, smells good. Look at that. Charles is going crazy. So now I'm going to cook this raw pasta. It should be banging. It should be banging. So here's the pot. And I have that oil from the bacon. Grease from the bacon. Putting that right in there. And then, let's put this in here. Wait, let me see so you can see me and see that instead of me. Okay.
I was watching, I watched this show called uh, Next Level Chefs on the Fox Network. And they got this girl in there, her name is Teeny. I follow her, uh, but she's, she's actually a real chef. She's not like me just trying to, you know, make something out of her life at the age of 65. Thank God she's a little girl. Not little, I mean, she's 20-something. She got an internship at Disney. Her boyfriend supports her 100%. Okay, so let's look like this. Look. See it? So, um, I don't think I need this. Just a little bit, but uh, I don't think I need it. Okay. Let's put this back, save it for tomorrow. And then what I'll do is I'll put up some of that other b b bow tie together. I don't have a car right now, so trying to get to the store has been very challenging. Let me just say the least. I want to say hi to my friend Cindy and Faith. I love them so much. They're wonderful people. Cindy, I pray for you every single solitary second of every day. And I know that you're going to be just fine. Okay, guys, hold on. I'm going to cook this pasta. I'll be back in a bit, okay? Deuces. Totally forgot. With this, you want to put in, like I use a two cup uh, for water, see? And I'm going to put in, let me see how many of these we need. See, and I'm grinding up pasta because I think... I put a, a cup and a half of pasta that I grind it up in the ninja. But it really fills up a lot. And I am going to put eggs in the food tonight. I try, like I told you guys, I try to do it every once in a while, every other day, but I only got a dozen left. And big boy, you know him. He's always, always eating. I know it looks messy right now. Here I go in that bacon again. Here we go with the egg once again. Not as clean as I was the first night. I mean, my house ain't dirty, but... I moved that, that pot before. Then I put my bleach water in. Don't forget your seasonings. I didn't spray the bottom tonight because of obviously because of the grease from the, the uh, bacon. So what I'm gonna do is it's why I'm gonna get me a chef coat for when I do this. I keep wiping everything on my sundresses. Y'all probably freaked out about me in the sundresses. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, well, I get so hot in summer, and I don't really go anywhere anymore. Like, I'm not singing. So, I don't have to make things. Hey, Mommy is talking. They are starving. Hey, whoa, hey. I'm going to show these people. Look, look at, here Charles, show everybody how much of a jerk you are right now. Show them. Show everybody. This is what he does to his sister. Show them. Unbelievable. I'll be back. Little freaking brat. Sorry, everybody. Man, Charles can be an asshole. He's one years old, but he thinks he's a lap dog. 
See how easy eggs flow in water? Look at that. I just love that that does that. And you do, and they don't break. Okay, everybody. So, we'll be back. Okay, listen, everybody. I'm a bad mommy. You want to know why? Because I'm not giving them the bacon. <laughs> that bacon is delicious, and I've decided that they can't have it. Simple as that. So, I have some more of this <laughs> breakfast sausage. So, they're going to have that. But they already got the barbecue chicken inside of the pasta thing anyways. Look at, look at how it looks. Look at that. Look at that. So, now that the pasta is... Stirring and tonight what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit out to show you how to do it If you have a little dog like my Reese, Reese can eat anything when a big dog's around but when it's just her I literally had to smash her food up in order for her to eat it So what you would do is take a portion of this a portion not a portion There's my egg bowl here it is See? Look at those eggs. See how nice they are? So good for the dogs. And it takes nothing to make them. Just throw them in your water while you're cooking the pasta. Okay, now that they're out. It really smells super nice with that barbecue chicken. Okay, so it's still got to cook for a bit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the vegetables in while it's still... I'm going to turn the heat down from 3 to, to uh, 1, like I normally do. And I'm opening a new bag tonight. So that other bag lasted me three days of the, me the, the melody. But like I said, I always put in... I always put in a full bag of the the mixed vegetables. I put in this full bag, right? And they look delicious, though. Honestly, you can't eat this, and I am eating with my dogs tonight. I probably I never have a big bowl. Because normally it's for him and her, but I have enough. I'm full when I when I get done eating. It almost looks like a soup, doesn't it? You could start this, and this could be a soup if you really wanted it to. I just like my dogs to eat well. <laughs> I'll be back. Hi, okay, so I'm back. The camera stopped, so I have to do that. Try and uh, edit again like I did last night, but... As you can see, everything right now is to a boil, right? So I'm trying to figure out, and you see how low it is. I don't know if all of this, I've turned off the eye because now I'm just going to let everything simmer. And I'm putting in uh, great northern beans. Reese loves them. She loves great northern beans. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that juice out again. I just don't like the juice. There's enough liquid in here right now. And then I'm going to go with the black beans and stir it up and see where I am. Because I still haven't cooked the meat yet. I haven't cooked that sausage. You hear that fool in the background? Okay. Now he wants to, he's saying he wants to go out. He wants to go out for about 10 seconds and then he wants to come back in. And this is what he does. Like I'm just supposed to stop what I'm doing and go put him put my dog out. That's what he does. So I put those two beans in. And I think I'm gonna put the other can of vegetables in. Drain them 
And if anything's left, I'll just use it for tomorrow again, like I did the other day. I think I decided too to put maybe sprinkle some bacon on top of their food. Whatever you do, don't forget about multivitamin, okay? Put in there. I'm out of turmeric. That's why you didn't see me put it in tonight. Look at that food over there. Look at him. Look at him. I'm so blessed to have this dog. He's just a lot. He's a lot. I never thought I'd be raising another boy dog at my age. But, um, yeah, he's a, he's a cool ass dog, though. I'm going to re season. Mm. It only needs a hair. It really is good. We're going to love this. So tonight they're having grounded up bowtie noodles, frozen vegetables, bacon, chicken thigh, black beans, northern beans, and... Uh, this girl is wonderful. She is. You see, she is a Super good. Oh, forgot to put the dog on eggs in. Let that do it today. Oh, <laughs> almost forgot about their eggs. Remember, cut them up. to the 20 mark, minute mark again, trying to get this down to a, a, at least 20 minutes, so far no, okay, so I'm stirring in the eggs, I'm going to put you guys on pause, I'm going to cook that meat, put it in, and whammo, freezer it'll go, I'll be right back. So you see at this point when the food is like this and it's been cooked and everything, if you have a baby dog, take it, put it in something, you know, take one, smash it up, smash it up, really like smash it and uh, let it cool off and then do one more. But if you have a Yorkie, that's more than enough for a Yorkie. My mom has a Yorkie and she also has a Chihuahua. He eats, he doesn't really eat anything. He has eaten my food before and he likes it. But uh, I would say take this and if you don't like it, just throw it in the blender. Throw it in the blender and go zip, zip. And that will be what you would feed your dog. But as you see, I have a beast and Reese is used to eating with bigger dogs. So she doesn't really like her food like that unless she's alone. Like I said, when my baby Jade passed away, she would not eat anything, and I had to smash, smash, smash. But when I go to grocery store next time, I think I'm going to splurge and get some pumpkin and some uh, sweet potato. Okay, so I don't want to go too much. I'm talking too much. Okay, I'm going to be back, and I'm going to cook that meat up. Voila! It's cooking! Okay, so the sausage is just about done. I'm going to smoke the bowl. Let me just tell you, older ladies and gentlemen, if you have stress, you need to be smoking marijuana. It's just the way that it is, I mean, really. It really is. Don't drink alcohol because it's not going to do nothing for you but make you sick. But Mary Jane, she's here to stay. Okay, everyone, everything is done. Okay. Turning everything. 
see? You know what comes next. After I do this, I put it in the freezer because it's so hot you don't want to burn your baby's mouth. So I have a big spot in my freezer here that I can put the food in and let it cool down for about 10-15 minutes. And you can see the, the heat's coming off that sucker pretty hard. Hey, don't forget to share and, uh, you know, to subscribe, whatever they say. I'm just trying to make it. I'm doing it every day. I don't care if one person watches. One person is better than no people. Okay, in the freezer it goes. And I told you guys about the servings last night. Charles is starving. He weighs pretty good though for me. Okay, so that I don't think I need to show you the portions again unless everybody wants to see it, but I'm trying to stay up under some minutes so that you guys don't get bored with me. Um my name is Pop. It is a snap. Hashtag snap. And uh, my purpose is to show everybody how to eat. Feed your babies at the same time and to stay healthy. Don't buy, you know, going out to the dollar store buying kibble. Why? It's ridiculous. Going to Kroger and spending, you know, hundreds of dollars on the Big Blue and, um, you know, Rachel and, and all of those. And I don't have any problem with that. It's just that if you really are a dog parent and you're a good one, and I'm pretty sure you are and some people just don't have time to feed their dogs like I do understandable um, but uh, you know when you're cooking your kids dinner and your parent and your husband dinner maybe on the side you can make something for the dogs I know that there's that that uh, the, the, the uh, dog food farmer dog fantastic food but oh my god just for Reese it was $77 a week I can't afford that, not when you're poor. So this is another option for you. And uh, I'm gonna sign off now. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you tomorrow night. Deuces, peace.